Alright, today we're fixing my Linux furnace. We had a code E225, high pressure switch failed open. Figured out the issue came down to be the pressure switch that's in the back. There was an issue with that, causing this to ramp up really high. Still get heat, but this would be very high, and I'd get that code. This is the new unit. This is the old unit. In a minute here, we'll go on the bench and show you how I figured it out that it was this guy. Here's the pressure switch on my bench. This back switch right here is the high pressure switch. I got my multimeter hooked up here, and I got a little tube here that I'm going to blow into so we can test it. Now, unfortunately, I tried this off camera a few times, and I smacked this with a screwdriver a bunch of times. And, uh, well, it actually works now, so I can't show you the failure, failure, but I can show you how I tested it. Got my multimeter out of frame here, and it's on uh, diode check mode, so you'll hear a little buzz uh, when I blow into it. And hopefully you'll be able to hear the little micro switches in these things click. Alright, as you heard there, I blew into it. This switch clicked first. And then this switch clicks second, since I got my multimeter, that's where you heard a buzz. Uh, when I checked this, when it wasn't working, well, didn't hear any buzz at all. So, that's how I knew this thing was bad. Temporarily to get this thing to work, I smacked this with uh, the end of a screwdriver a few times, and it held me over until I got the new one installed.